Okay, this is Grant here again with part two of the Commutator series. Um, I'm going to please ask you, if you've not already, to go back and view the Corner 3 Cycle Commutator tutorial. It will teach you the basics of a commutator, which is x, y, negative x, negative y. And you really need to know those, and I'm not going to explain them again in much detail. I, I will briefly overview them, but if you do not view that video, this will make very little sense to you unless you are a genius. Okay, so like in the corner 3 cycle, we're going to find a layer that has two unsolved edges this time, though. Two unsolved edges, and one of them is oriented correctly. So this layer has two unsolved edges, and this one's oriented correctly. And instead of using the top layer for the other incorrect piece, we're going to be using the E slice. If it's in the top layer, you're going to have to conjugate. But anyway, this is the equator, it's called the E slice, okay? So, uh, well, what we need to do here is we need to get it into a position where we can move this correctly oriented one into this place and solve this one. So how would we solve this? Let's say, uh, hmm, we need to get the green, so if green's over here, and here's the green it needs to be in, then I'm going to go ahead and do this which will put these two greens here and this green here so if I do E2 it'll solve that so I'm going to move that back down do Y which will replace it with that move it up do E2 and do that so I did X Y negative X negative Y let's give you another example um, okay here there's nothing unsolved in the E layer, so I'm going to have to use this single one. I'm going to have to move it into the E layer. Okay, so the, I just conjugated it, and that didn't take very long. So it's green and white. Um, here's green and white. How would we get this into a position where we can solve this with the E slice? Done. Okay, so I'm going to go E, it's solved. I'm going to move it down, replace it with our unsolved one, move it up, undo E, move it back down, undo y, and then undo our conjugation. Okay, it's very, very similar in structure to uh, the corner three ones. I'll just give you one more example. This time, all of them will be in the E slice. Let's see. Okay, now they are all in the E slice. But, what I can do is I can turn the cube this way, so I've got this layer. This one is correctly oriented, this one's not. So now none of them are in the e-slice, because this is the e-slice now. I just turned my cube. Okay, so they're all over here. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, I can, hmm, I'm trying to move this one into the e-slice. Okay, so it's orange and green, orange and green. And here's the orange and green where it needs to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, e2. So that that's my x, it's my y, e2, undo x, okay, um, crap, undo y, undo conjugation, and you're done. That's an edge 3 cycle. It will work pretty much most of the time, yeah, actually all the time really. Of course there are algorithms to do it. If you end up in this position, you can do a 9 move algorithm. I prefer the 11 move one because it's 2 gen. But, yeah, it's pretty much just like that. Let's just move it into the E slice. Okay, so we need to find orange and white, which is right here. How are we going to solve it? We're going to do this. Move it in. Y. Move it up. Out. Undo Y. Undo conjugation. I actually prefer these over the corner ones. I like the slice moves. They're just a lot of fun. Okay. Happy cubing. Enjoy.